As you solder, you will need to clean the tip of the iron so the solder and flux does not build up. Flux is found in the center part of the soldering wire and is there to help clean and remove oxidization from the surfaces to be soldered. This makes for an even better connection. Cleaning the tip of the soldering iron can be done one of two ways. The least expensive way, and the one I use, is to use a wet sponge, but there are also other cleaners that are called brass wire sponges. After the tip is cleaned, you'll want to tin the tip of the iron. This is done by placing a small amount of solder to the tip, just enough to cover it. This will allow for better heat transfer so the soldering can be done quicker. The quicker you can solder it, the better. Too much time with that intense heat near your components increases the risk of damaging them. Feel free to trim a little bit off the ends of the resistor or LEDs to save space if needed. If you do this to an LED, make sure you pay close attention to which lead is positive and which one is negative, as the original length is what you use to differentiate between the two. When soldering wires together, you may want to use some helping hands. You can sometimes use masking tape to hold things in place for you. Just protect the surfaces beneath the wires. Place the two leads, the wires, together with the bare wires that are going to be soldered, overlapping. After freshly tinning the iron, bring the iron up underneath the leads, then touch the leads and add solder from the top at the same time. Since heat rises, it will transfer the heat better from below the wires. Once you see the solder has flowed into the connection, remove the iron immediately. Too much heat can damage the LED and resistor. Wait approximately a minute or two for your solder to cool before touching it. I strongly recommend practicing your soldering skills on a couple of scrap pieces of wire before you attempt it on your own project. this type of connection you don't have a wire to solder to it's a little bit more tricky um, so what we want to do is we want to solder the tip of this first and we're just going to have our helping hands hold that for just a second maybe some solder on the copper first it actually sucks it up. Now that we've got some on there, we pull this away and we put this in that area there. And we are going to solder that down there like that. Going to melt the solder onto the copper. Let it sit. And you'll see how it has now attached to that copper piece. You want you can actually add a little bit more to it. Just be careful let it cool down in between, that way it's not staying too hot too long. And you'll see that it's stuck to that. Of course, it wouldn't hurt to use some electrical tape after it's cooled to place on those two connectors when you're done. <laughs> 